You see, Jinnah was so much of a one-man band. If someone had told me he's going to be dead in a few months, would I then, I am asking myself this question now, would I have said, let's hold India together and not divide it? Most probably. Juno was a lunatic. He was absolutely, completely impossible. I don't think we could have waited for him to die because I don't think we neither could have afforded the time nor could we have felt certain of it. But what we could have done is to argue with him in a very different way. I assumed I was dealing with a man who was there for keeps and had the objective of Pakistan and had the and had Pakistan as his objective on which I couldn't steer him around. If in fact we suppose for a moment that Jinhar had died literally before the transfer of power, I believe the Indian Congress would have been so relieved that their arch enemy was dead. We would have been dealing on the basis where Congress would have been prepared to give up much more and the other Muslim leaders would have readily accepted that. It's horrifying thought that we were never told. Anyway, that I wasn't told that you know I was dying was almost criminal. The only chance, and I'm saying this on the spur of the moment, it was the only chance we had of keeping some form of unified India. Because he was the only, I repeat, the only stumbling block. The others were not so obdurate. I am sure the Congress would have found some compromise with them. <laughs>